Hey everybody, it's Striker here. I am on Minecraft, and I'm bringing you the next snapshot. And I will f go ahead and forewarn you: this is not a troll video like the last one, which everyone seemed to hate, uh, or a lot of people seem to hate. But uh, this is the snapshot 12w21a. And in this update, we have a new ore. We have a uh, emerald ore, and uh, I cannot be broken by wood, stone, gold, uh, any of those. You have to use an iron pickaxe. <clears throat> or a diamond pickaxe. Now, it gives you a emerald, which is green, but the ore is red, so I'm not exactly sure why that's done. Sheep seem to like the emerald ore. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, so, I'm not sure why it's red. Maybe that'll change. But, yeah. So let's move on to the next thing. Okay, the next item I would like to show you in this update is the ender chest right there and I'm going to show you how to make it it took me about 10 minutes to figure out how to do it um, I don't know if these spawn in the end I I don't know I was trying to find one but uh yeah it's gonna take like four hours so um, if you go into a crafting table and you put obsidian around in a circle and I believe an ender pearl, no, it's one eye of ender, there you go. You will get an ender chest. And so that is a craftable thing. Uh, I, they do not combine, so I don't know if that's a, um, if that's on purpose or not. Let me see, oh crap. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's see if he can break it with an axe. Doesn't look like it. Now I can break it with a pickaxe. So I do not know if that is the only way to break it. Um, a quote unquote from Jeb, I will read it off from the post. A new useful block in a block item. So maybe there's a more of a use to this than we can see from just looking at it. I don't know. But it has a uh, little aura around it like the Endermen do. So yeah, that's a really cool thing, and uh, here comes the next part. Okay, so now it's nighttime, and I just noticed uh, when I was about to show you the next part of this update, um, the chest glows, so at night, you can find it, if you didn't know where you put it. So, uh, yeah. And it kind of has the glow around it, but yeah, so it gives off light. So the, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is villagers can now be trading, traded, or whatever you want to call it. So the way this works is each villager either has one thing or multiple things that they will trade. So as you can see, this guy wants seven emeralds for an iron pickaxe. So if I put seven emeralds in here, there we go. Well, oh, that was a little glitchy. So if you do that and put them in one at a time, it won't work. And then you place it in again as a full stack, it'll work. So, I can do seven emeralds for an iron pickaxe. And there we go. Let's go with him. He wants... See, that's, that's a glitch. Alright, and a bookshelf. Awesome. And then they start to glow whenever, they're, whenever they've been traded with. So, he wants 11 emeralds for a diamond pickaxe. So, that's a pretty good deal. So, I'm going to take a few of these. Uh, <laughs> now, let's, uh, let's go over here. Where is... You, come here. Uh, no, you. So a leather tunic, and he can, uh, he actually has multiple things. Okay, so if you see one like this, if I put in 14 raw pork chops, raw beef, sorry. There we go. He will give me an emerald. So that's how you gain the emeralds if you're not mining them. So you don't actually have to go mining to get any emeralds at all. So I come back over here and I can buy another diamond pickaxe. And uh, they don't pick up items, so that's a good thing. But yeah, so that is the uh, testificate or um, villager trading system. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next part. In the next part of this update, if you type in slash seed, it'll give you the seed of the map. So that's cool. I wish you would um, wish you would pop up as your last chat. So, let's say if I, if this was a seed, so 541, blah, 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 whatever, okay? So, here's the seed, okay? Now, if I type that in and I do slash up, 
control A, I can copy and paste that. So that would be a cool feature if if anyone is uh, working at Mojang watches this. Um, that would be cool if the seed would be in your last chat box. So you could copy and paste it into a Skype call or something so that someone else could use the same seed. If it's a number like that and not a word. So yeah. Alright, moving on to the next part. Also, one thing I noticed in uh, on the Mojang post is that they said that there uh, you do not need to have the server jar to play single player anymore. So that's good, even though it's going to automatically come in your updates um, whenever you download the real Minecraft snapshot, or the real uh, update when it comes out for 1.3. Uh, it'll actually be in there, but um, it's good to know that uh, for these snapshots that you do not have to have it to play single player, because that was a big issue that I had. I couldn't figure out how to log in at first. So yeah, that's a big change. Um, Alright, and on to the next part. Okay, so they added in sandstone stairs. I just completely botched that. Sandstone, si <laughs> sandstone stairs. There we go. So uh, yeah, they added that in, and uh, yeah, apparently um, that was top priority. So they added in sandstone stairs. I got it right that time. And uh, yeah, let me take a quick look and see if there's anything else I need to cover real fast while I'm sitting right here. Uh, since there's a lot of smaller changes and fixes, uh, they added the currency item, I recovered that. Um, now they also did tweet a picture. Now if I cannot find this, then I will just include a picture and a little commentary right here at the end. But uh, they added in a picture of a sandstone village. So a village that was in a desert, and it was, looked like it was made completely out of sandstone. So I'm going to go search for that for y'all. Um, hopefully I can find it. If not, I'll just show you the picture. And, uh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I found the village. So, I have not actually flown through this yet. So, I just stumbled upon this. And I would like to record my own reactions to this. Um, wow. So, there is no gravel. I'm noticing that. With the chest. Is the chest weird? No. Alright, cool. Awesome. Uh, nothing in the furnaces, I guess. Alright, uh, let's go over here. So the walls are made out of the normal sandstone and then the smooth sandstone. Let's go in here, nothing. Just trying to see what's different. Now the wheat's still growing. There's no logs. Ooh, whoops. Uh, there's no logs. The water's still in here? Yep. Uh, it's lit up for some reason. Let's go down. Nope. And you never know what's going to be in here, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and explore the whole thing. Cool. Now, I have not seen any uh, hieroglyphic sandstone. Oh, I guess those glitches are still in. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You can go. Uh, as long as you trade with me. Where'd you go? Come here. Alright. Um, yeah, I do not see any... Uh, don't see any hieroglyphics, uh, hieroglyphic sandstone. Shut <laughs> Close the door on me. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. That's, uh, I guess it makes sense, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. So, um, oh, I also noticed that, um, I was talking about the slash seed earlier. So since they removed the slash, uh, since they added in slash seed, they removed it from your F3 menu. So if you look up in the top left-hand corner, just down a little bit, uh, under F, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, uh, it used to say seed, and then it would have the number of the seed. So they took that out, and they added in a slash seed, which there's the seed, there's the coordinates uh, with the snapshot. Otherwise, it's not going to work, probably. And, yeah, I don't know what else there is to cover. So I don't need to show you a picture now. You get to actual, actual, you get to actually see. Uh, I think that they should take these out and add in sandstone slabs. You know what? I'm gonna hold on. Bear with me for a minute. They're up here, aren't they? Yes, they are. Here, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna switch this out and see what it looks like. Okay, so I cut it and I switched out all the sandstone with sandstone slabs, and um, 
you know, I don't know if it makes any difference or not. It didn't really change much. Um, it definitely is easier to identify if you have the stone slabs up there. Maybe the same thing right here, but that would... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... I'm just... <laughs> I'm just shooting now. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, so if you uh, if you like this update and would like to see more of it, maybe I'll do a Let's Play in it or something like that, uh, let me know, and I might do that. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.